uh, hi everyone uh, so today we will be discussing about how does holt winters or aka triple exponential smoothing model works in time series forecasting uh, so if you remember in my last video we discussed about how single exponential smoothing works so similar to that uh, in that case also we have a time series with terms x1 x2 x3 x4 and we are trying to create a new time series s1 s2 s3 s4 where s are the smoothed terms that we have calculated using the uh, exponential time series exponential smoothing method now here also we are trying to get to a get to a new uh, time series following holt winters that we will be applying on the original time series so uh, before moving ahead we need to understand three major equations in this uh, in this entire system uh, in this method that is first of all calculating the seasonality term the trends term and eventually the smoothing term so let's get started assume that we are forecasting for the 14th term uh, in the uh, in the smoothing uh, in the whole winner uh, exponential smoothing method that is t equals to 13 because we are starting to count from t equals to 0 so in that case uh, the equation becomes seasonality t equals to gamma into x t minus s t minus 1 because t is 13 so 12 becomes t minus 1 minus trend t minus 1 plus 1 into gamma into seasonality 1 now let's understand this entire equation where gamma is our constant as we saw if you remember in my last video i told how alpha was a constant here gamma is a constant for seasonality term that we are calculating now the first term is uh, easy to understand uh, uh, the s t minus 1 term we are trying to calculate uh, using and trend t minus 1 so i will tell you how this smooth 12 and trend 12 will be calculated 1 minus gamma into seasonality underscore 1. Now this term is coming from here, this equation. T minus 1 minus m equals to 1. That is why we consider this term as 1. So in this first equation, we have majorly four important terms. That is x t minus x t uh, s t minus 1. S is a smoothing pattern that we are calculating. Trend t minus 1 and seasonality t minus 1 minus m. Now M is a seasonality parameter. So if our data is at monthly level and we have a seasonality uh, at an yearly level, this means then M becomes 12. So T is a 13 uh, minus 1 minus M. That is why we are taking the first term in the equation. Now coming to the next equation that is trend. Trend T equals to beta into uh, ST minus s t minus 1 plus 1 minus beta into trend t minus 1 so here you can see that in uh, in this trend uh, equation we don't we haven't included the seasonality term here we have just three major terms that is s t minus s t minus 1 s is a smoothing uh, uh, a series that we are calculating and trend is t minus 1 also so and beta is a constant as gamma was a constant earlier beta is a constant in this equation now finally we are coming to the final equation that we need to calculate that is smooth 13 that is st that we are talking about equals to alpha into xt x is the original time series if you remember we haven't used if the original time series is like x1 x2 x2 x4 it is a 13 term from coming from there minus seasonality t minus 1 minus m plus 1 minus alpha into s t minus 1 minus trend t minus 1 so here you can see we have four terms coming in that is x13 uh, xt seasonal t minus 1 minus m uh, s t minus 1 and trend t minus 1 right now uh, alpha is a constant so we have three uh, three pair of constant coming one is the gamma that was in the seasonality equation trend is the beta uh, trend in the trend equation we have beta as a constant and in the smoothing uh, table that is the actual term that we wish to calculate we have alpha as a constant coming in uh, so by far we have calculated three terms that is s uh, seasonality t time uh, trend t and smooth t that is s term now we will be calculating the actual forecast that we wish to have for that we have an equation something like this x14 given 13 equals to uh, st plus h into trend t 
plus seasonality my underscore two. Now this is a bit a difficult equation to understand. So we will go with the points that has been written below. X th 14 given 13 means that given the 13th term we have like X 13 we have. We are trying to calculate the 14th term now. If we have the last term available as 10 then it would the, it would have looked like X 14 given 10 and the equation would have changed. H is a step ahead variable equal to the difference between the position of the term we are want to predict against a given po term position. So if you try to calculate what is H here X 15 given 12 H equals to 13 uh, 3 because 15 minus 12 equals to 3. Uh, in this case uh, 14 minus 13 equals to 1. Hence it becomes 1 for us in this case. Uh, how we are getting, getting the seasonality underscore term because which term from seasonality we need to consider this, uh, this is quite confusing because here you understand ki, uh, 14 given 13 we are considering the last available term smooth trend but in case of seasonality we have got uh, the subscript 2 why is this happening the why the second term from the seasonality is considered it is done using this particular equation that we have t plus h minus m uh, parenthesis h minus 1 uh, upon m plus m1 and if you solve it you will get 2 because t is 13 h is 1 and m is 12 m is the seasonality term that i told you the seasonality parameter that is seasonality is available at every 12th month and is the data is monthly we have m equals to 12 so uh, following this equation we get a 2 uh, so assume that uh, we have uh, we are trying to calculate x 30 that is the 30th term given the last term that we have is just 12 so the equation would look something like this smooth 12 that is the 12th term from the S uh, series 18 into trend 12 uh, h value now h value if you remember was 30 minus 12 that is 18 because the last the term we are trying to predict were uh, minus the last term that is available and seasonality equals to 6 following the difficult equation that we have discussed earlier